Good morning, brothers and sisters. I hope we're on. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Lady of Perpetual Help in Calistoga, California, especially those who are joining us. So we pray for the following intentions. We pray for John Bell. Uh, used to be a co-seminarian. And I think he is uh, gravely ill. So we pray for him and for his wife and for his and their child. We also pray for Isabella Sanchez. She's just eight years old and she has cancer. For, for Bethany Pham and Troy Jason Pham. Uh, they are in middle school and they do have cancer. We pray for our parishioners who are recovering and we're requesting us to pray for them. They do have cancer. So we embrace all of these people in our prayers before the Blessed Sacrament. We also pray for um, Magdalena Anson. Patty McMahon, Didi Virata, uh, Sister Mary Teresa, and many others who are very sick. We do pray for all the poor souls of purgatory. We now pray for the souls of Ken Chan, Hector, Sainz, Sierra, for Pete and Sylvia Marciano. Ernesto Rodriguez, Father Estoni, Lynn, and all the loved ones who have gone before us. Join me in worshiping Jesus before the Blessed Sacrament. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed, Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Heaven. Blessed be the Holy Spirit and Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints. Holy God, we praise thy name.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord appeared to Mary, and she, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Hail Mary, full, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the hand of the Lord. Be done unto thee according to thy word. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth and beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts. The widow in the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Perpetual Help, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. When we don't have anybody else to turn to, we turn to God our Father, and to Jesus Christ, our brother, and the Spirit enables us to move forward without fear, for the times that we have forgotten to come before our Father in prayer, trusting in his love for us. Let us ask the Lord's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion, and we say, I confess, confess to, to Almighty God. God. And to, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Lead us, Lord God our Father, to imitate the constancy of Saint Eusebius affirming the divinity of your Son, so that by preserving the faith he taught as your bishop, we may merit a share in the very life of your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Thus says the Lord, See, I will restore the tents of Jacob, his dwellings I will pity. City shall be rebuilt upon hill, and palace restored as it was. From then, from them will resound songs of praise, the laughter of happy men. I will make them not few but many, they will not be tiny, for I will glorify them. His sons shall be as of old, his assembly before me shall stand firm. I will punish all his oppressors. His leader shall be one of his own, and his rulers shall come from his kin. When I summon them, he shall approach me. How else should one take the deadly risk of approaching me, says the Lord? You shall be my people, and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The Lord, the Lord will build up Zion again and appear with all his glory. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear with all his glory. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height, from heaven he beheld the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear with all his glory. The children of your servants shall die and their posterity shall continue in your presence. That the name of the Lord may be declared on Zion and his praise in Jerusalem, when the peoples gather together and the kingdoms to serve the Lord. The Lord, the Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory.
and sisters, my dear brothers, the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ. Take courage, <clears throat> it is I. Do not be afraid. A decade ago, when my uncle was still alive, he died a few weeks ago. He gave me a call and he was in tears talking to me. And he told me a story. He said, I was diagnosed with a heart disease and he had to be taken immediately to the operating room. They did a heart surgery. He was not released by the doctor. The doctor said, you are a candidate for D-E-A-T-H, for death. A few minutes or a few hours before the surgery, he talked to the doctor and said, let me come, let me speak to Jesus in the chapel. So he went to the chapel, started to pray. And while he was scanning the place, the chapel, he saw pictures of little children. And he saw a book, a prayer book, a, a book of prayer requests. And he started to read the names of the children who were suffering from cancer. And he prayed to God, Jesus, if it is your will that you will take my life, now it is okay. Just save one or two of these little children. And he started to cry on the phone. I said, Uncle, it is okay. The Lord heard your prayer. You're still alive. And then, many years later, he gave me another call and he said, Father, Father Nephew, <laughs> he said, I'm about to retire and I am afraid, very much afraid, that I will be good for nothing. And he said, I, I told him, no, you still have a mission in life. You just have to re reinvent yourself. Guess what he continued to do? You know, that very day that he had this conversion, when he thought that he was dying, he started a group in their parish. Every day, between 2 a.m., to 3 a.m., he would go before the Blessed Sacrament and pray. That became his mission in life. The last time that I visited him in St. Louis, Missouri, I sat down with him and we prayed the rosary together. Why am I saying all these? Because, you know, sometimes we complain and say, Lord, why am I experiencing all these difficulties and these storms in life? And Jesus is telling us, you know, you will not come to me in prayer if you do not experience the storms in life. You will not believe in me if I cannot prove to you that I am bigger than all your problems. You see, what came back to my mind was what was taught to me when I was in theology. Our professor said, God is the God of nature and He's bigger than all His creation. And he said, at the beginning of creation, the earth was in chaos and there was wind and 
big waves. But then when the Spirit of God came, when he breathed on the sea, there was calm. Everything became calm. And this was what Jesus proved when he walked on water. He could make every area in our life so calm if we will only trust him. He says, do not be afraid. It is fear that makes us sink. It is doubt. Remember, first we become afraid, and then we will doubt Him. But then, Jesus will pick us up and hold us when we are already sinking. If we pray like Peter, Lord, save me. That's the only thing that Jesus is asking from us. Ask him, Lord, save me. Hermanos y hermanas, la palabra o la oración, sálvame, auxíliame, Jesucristo. Especialmente cuando estamos hundiendo con nuestras, nuestros problemas en los, en los momentos difíciles. No tengan miedo, nuestro Señor está diciendo a nosotros, estoy aquí con ustedes. ¿Están dudando? Pues hay que fortalecer nuestra fe en nuestro Señor Jesucristo, porque nuestro Jesucristo es más grande que nuestros problemas. Más el Dios celestial, el creador del mundo, es más grande de su creación. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, God our Father, forgive us for our lack of faith. Teach us, O oh Lord God, to trust you, even when things seem to be so difficult to understand. When we feel so lost, pick us up again. All this we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And Lord, save us.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have this wine to love, fruit of the vine and void of human hands will be comforts, our spiritual joy. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask to receive us, be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my mind, cleanse me from my sin. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. <clears throat> Most merciful God, our Father, who were pleased to create in Saints <laughs> Julian Abraham and Saint Eusebius, the new man in your image, the old having passed away, graciously grant me pray that renewed like them, we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of conciliation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By the way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure of support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us, and win with them the imperishable crown of through Christ our Lord, and so with the angels and night angels, with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as we are, and we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> You are holy indeed about of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit of thunder like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it gave it to his disciples, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, the supper was ended in of the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this 
in my mind. The mystery of faith we proclaim. Proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your help is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, all the clergy and the religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters, and we now pray for Kenny Chan, and for Sierra, Pete and Sylvia Machado, and Nesto Rodriguez, of the Stone, Lynn Murphy, Ricardo Lau, our loved ones, our friends, relatives, and their families who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, particularly those with cancer and for their healing, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, your most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint the rest of the child Jesus, Saint Peter, Julian, Abraham, and Ant, and the Eusebius of Vercelli, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be warriors of eternal life and may praise and glorify to your Son, Jesus Christ. Or Cristo, on every given, a ti Dios Padre omnipotente, en la unidad del Espíritu Santo, todo honor y toda gloria, por los siglos de los siglos. Now let us come before the throne of our loving Father. Whatever needs we got, let us present this to Him with confidence as we pray. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, God, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not be led into temptation, but deliver us from you. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the and glory, glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer one another the sign of peace. There is healing when we greet one another in Jesus' peace. Nafas kapay Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, God you, you take away the sins sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, I eat your body and drink your blood. Let it not bring me condemnation, but health in mind and body and the healing remedy.
hermanos y hermanas, este es el Cordero de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo. This is Jesus, our Lord, who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter onto my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for everlasting life. Amen. spiritual communion. By Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive the sacrament, come with me spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you, never permitted to be separated from Creo, Jesús mío, que estás realmente en el Santísimo Sacramento del altar. Te amo sobre todas las cosas y deseo evidentemente recibirte en mi alma. Pero como ahora no puedo estarlo sacramentalmente, ven al menos espiritualmente a mi corazón. Como si ya te hubiese recibido, te abrazo a mí uno todo a ti. No permita, Señor, que jamás me separe de ti. Amen. Soul of Christ, sanctify, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save, save me. Blood of Christ, fulfill me. Water from the sign of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separate from you. 
Let me never be. Protect me. At the hour of my death. Call me. And close to you. Bid me. But with your sins. I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask God to be worthy priests, brothers and sisters to his holy church. O oh God, we earnestly beseech you to bless this diocese with many priests, brothers and sisters, who will gladly spend their entire lives to serve the church and to make the Lord in love. Bless our families, bless our children. Jews for our homes, those who are needed for thy work. Amen. Mary, Queen of the Virgin, pray for us. us. Pray for our priests and religious. Obtain for us many more. Amen. Saint Michael, we are at need. Defend us in battle. We are a safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And we bow the Prince of Heavenly Hosts. By the power of God, must send to the hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Let us pray. By the power of the sacrament, Lord, we pray, lead us always in your love to the example of St. Eusebius of Vercelli and Peter Julian Hamer, and bring to fulfillment the good work you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns. Forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all the members of your families in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is said, let us go in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen. Mary, your praises we sing. Rain down in splendor with